Alright, hey guys, uh, this is going to be a model review of the John Deere 450 Excavator LC, the 450D LC. Uh, all I got to say, really, is this thing is a fantastic model. I love this thing. And if you think Ertl models are cheap and aren't worth buying, this thing is worth it. Uh, so, start the review. Let me turn the light on quick. Uh, I'm using my awesome tripod. Uh, alright, uh, the full height of this thing is like this. It's pretty high. Um, the reach on it is awesome. Digging nuts. Digging up is not that good because like it just doesn't want to stay up too well. Like it just turns it down too far. The bucket makes it good. Uh, That's digging. That's on it. Uh, bucket crawls in pretty far. It's about as far as it'll go. It dumps pretty good. Uh, crawls in good on there like that. Uh, one thing that's not good about this one, I have to get a new little boy now because it's obviously pretty wide. If I think it's got the cheap version of the John Deere Grader, there's a size comparison. This is the cheap cheapest version they make. So if you have there's a size comparison. Uh there's something I know everyone has. It's a sword Peterbilt 367. The four fifth the truck can drive underneath the boom. Uh, uh like I said, if you got the North Scott logo, this model will not fit on there. But I don't care that it don't fit on there because this model is just great. Plus it means I get a new low boy. I'm aiming for the sword low boy. This Roger slip axle. Since I've got a sword truck, I might as well just get that one and put it on here. Uh size comparison with the eleven ten eighty forwarder. Uh here I'll show you what it looks like on the low boy. Like I said, it just barely fits on here. Like you gotta make sure it's on there right. Uh, for it to work. Uh, it it's just too wide. The actual operating weight of this machine, the dead weight is. 50 ton. I think that's like a 40 ton low boy. 
so in real life you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, it turns 360 degrees. Uh, metal tracks, which I love. Get them all. Uh, I see why audience like the metal tracks better than the rubber ones. Uh, let's get some closer detail now. Uh, you got this little open compartment here. Here's a detailed engine. Uh, I got the Murphy logo on it already. Focus. Well, here's what the logo looks like. Uh, you got your bucket, which the bucket itself is humongous. Uh, if you know, I know the cheap version of the 200. Uh, and how small the bucket is. I can actually put its bucket in this bucket. That's how big this bucket is. Put my finger in it. I can almost park the skid steer in it, really. Here's the old one I don't see. There's the old version. We'll do a size comparison of excavators here. As you can tell, there's a pretty big size difference. Uh, that I did build a dealership, so I will do a video on that here soon. I just wanted to get the review up. So yeah. The counterweight on this thing is huge. It actually does work. It's not hollow. Like it's It's like, look how far off the tracks are off the table. Right there is the tipping point. Right there. So, yeah, that does. Uh, so remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and recommend me to your YouTube friends because I have no views on any of my videos. I'd like to get some of my views up to at least 90 to 100. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Add me to your recommended channels. Alright, guys. Bye.